Well, it is the first time that Merrick Garland testified before Congress since a plea deal collapsed and charges were filed against his boss's son. And the attorney general tried today to distance himself from any hints of politics involving Hunter Biden. Our job is not to take orders from the president, from Congress, or from anyone else about who or what to criminally investigate. As the president himself has said, and I reaffirm today, I am not the president's lawyer. I will add, I am not Congress's prosecutor. The Justice Department works for the American people. Does that answer play, Kevin? I think so. I think, How? you know, the, the, the attorney general did a masterful job, I think, managing expectations in that committee hearing. I think most of the Republicans, as you saw, I was glued to the coverage, spent most of their time just pontificating, right, going down conspiracy theory uh, traps around January 6th, going down, uh, you know, IRS traps and things like that. And I think that the but attorney general did a fairly good job. Of it isn't the issue we hear from the White House, and Philip will tell you this. When you ask a question, Philip, in the White House briefing room about Hunter Biden, what do they tell you? Oh, they refer you to Hunter Biden's right. legal It's a punt. Uh, and we basically heard from Merrick Garland today, I got nothing to do with this. So at the White House, they, they punt. Merrick Garland said, I got nothing to do with it. it. Like, when the American public hears that, hears both of that, I'm, there's got to be some questions there, no? Blake, I think it's a great question to ask, and I think the White House needs to get a better understanding and grip on uh, this level of interest that the American people have in uh, in the president's son. Just deferring to your point to uh, Hunter Biden's uh, lawyers isn't working, right? When you now have a majority of Americans in polling that say, and I'm speaking as a Democrat, that think the president is corrupt. I think they've got to get a better handle on how to respond to this and not just deflect to uh, uh, the president's son's attorneys. Well, and speaking of punts, I mean, when asked about David Weiss and the special counsel and how that came to be, it seemed that Merrick Garland was only saying, oh, this was a Trump appointee. But when pressed as to why he was chosen, he didn't really give a direct answer. So, so many, you know, questions there. Well, and I think that that sort of agnostic approach on the behalf of, of the attorney general just isn't going to stand up. When you saw again and again Republicans say, well, I know uh, that Weiss is a Republican appointee. I know, mm -hmm. you know, that, that you defer to Jack. Smith on some of these questions, but why, not based off of their party affiliations, but why, based off of previous things that they did, did you go with him? For instance, uh, California Representative McClintock said, all right, Jack Smith, uh, you know, was rebuked by the Supreme Court with that case involving the Virginia governor. Uh, he had ties to the IRS targeting scandal. You know, uh, Weiss let the statute of limitations run out. Why, based off of their record, not their party affiliations, is the AG still trusting them? Yeah, I worked for Attorney General John Ashcroft and Gonzalez, and one of the things that we all know is that when you come to the AG's office, that's the end of your career because you're going to have to take really <laughs> hard. You better be done with everything. End of you your political do. career, or I'm sure political you can go get a, get a yeah, legal job sure. somewhere. You can do something somewhere. That's a stepping stone. Be step. a janitor somewhere. <laughs> but you know, it's it's really one of those those positions where you're going to take hard positions, and you're going to have to defend things that maybe you don't even agree with. And so everyone insists, even Barr said in the lead up to the 2020 election, he said, and I quote, partisan politics must play no role in the decisions of federal investigators or prosecutors regarding any investigation. Oh, I, I, you know, I, I, I hear you. And I think most people would, that. Would, would agree with that. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.